And as promised, the big question, we are joined live in our studio by Nyani Sankaran, well-known political commentator, by A. Sarvan and former public prosecutor of the Madras High Court. Also joining us through our OB-WAN is Kushbu Sundar uh, from her residence in Santom. Kushbu, as we know, is a close friend of Kanimuri, a DMK party member and a well-known actor. Thank you very much for joining us, Kushbu. Also joining us from our studio at the Hindu office is T. Ramakrishnan, senior assistant editor of The Hindu. Kushbu, I know you're much in demand as always today in particular with several TV channels waiting outside your door. So I'll finish up with you first. Thank you very much for joining us, Kushbu. First up, the DMK chief has hinted that a new position awaits Kanimuri. What does the DMK grapevine have? Break it first on our channel. <laughs> I think I just heard my, my chief uh, speaking about it. So I think he's the best person uh, to announce it after Kani comes back as to what position she'll be elevated next. I don't think I'm here to comment on that. Okay, Kushpu, in your political avatar, you're being very politically correct. But let me ask you, when, what is Kanimuri's USP in the party from an electoral standpoint? Uh, because one remembers very lucidly when she had her political baptism. There were newspaper headlines which said, Kanimuri, colon, Jaya, here I come. Do you see Kanimuri being pitted as a potential opponent to Jail Alita in the future? That's if, if you don't pit yourself. No, I think Kani has always been the silent worker of the party. You would hardly see her uh, in any of the party meetings where she wanted to be on the forefront. She always been the uh, silent uh, worker of the party who believed in doing her work and not ostentatiously talking about it or being seen and being heard. Uh, but I think now it's high time she starts working from the forefront because we have always seen how she has worked for the betterment of the women uh, living in the interiors of Tamil Nadu. And I think uh, Kani, since she has a command over the language and she knows the people and she knows the party, I think it's going to be really nice to have Kani back. Okay. We do know that dynastic politics is here to stay here in Tamil Nadu. Uh, but the fact that she is the party boss's daughter, there's no getting away from that and the favorite daughter at that. Do you think that's a huge advantage for Kani Mari? How do you think the others are going to view this? I think that's a huge disadvantage to Kani because every time people look up at her saying that she's the party chief's daughter i think it's high time we put that aside the family issues and say that how active she has been the worker of uh, the dmk party just because she happens to be party chief at times definitely works against them okay let's bring in mr nyani uh, nyani to give kanimari her due she does come across as a very simple down to earth unassuming person mild manner as i said in the introduction uh, she's earned her spurs be it those job fairs which we, I remember carrying on our channel, calling it Kani Muni's job, you know, employment exchange, to her uh, upliftment of uh, folk artists to the Chennai Sangamam. She has really proved her mettle. So, is it a disadvantage? Because she said that my biggest disadvantage, even in the court, is that I happen to be Karunanadi's daughter. No, no, in fact, whatever advantage she had so far had, I mean, only because she is Karunanadi's daughter. Any other Kani Muni, daughter of somebody else, would not have been made a party MP at all. Um, you can find that out from the party itself. Hmm. How many other women in the party hmm. ever had an opportunity to become an MP like this? Hmm. Simply because she belonged to the family, she could rise to this level. Hmm. And all these mild-mannered, etc., etc., job fairs, etc. That's a fact. And that's not a fact really in the sense, if you watch the day, the footage was uh, telecast, when Karanji was arrested by Jailalita long back during the previous regime. And uh, Sun TV itself had telecast a footage where Kanimari was seen uh, banging the chest of a policeman. Uh, they just removed Was it her or somebody else? Huh? Because one remembers seeing her sitting next to her father oh, no. at uh, that was That was the outside the prison, outside the house. She was banging oh, no, the chest one, of a policeman. It's a, a one-off thing, thing for her. It was a person of angry, anger. I can right. understand the anger. Let me bring in the Why lawyer she's here. She's not a mild-mannered person. She has an excellent PR mission all the time working. All right. Let me bring in Sarvanan here. Yeah. Yeah, Sarvanan, sir. would you as a lawyer advise Kanimari to speak to the press? Do you see her giving interviews now? Yeah, certainly, uh, Sanjay, certainly. Uh, you will, you know, her lawyers will not uh, uh, no, put no, any curbs No, no, not about the case, not about the case. Exactly, but you know, her present experience and what has, you know, made her out of what the, the lawyers will give her the green signal to go to the press. Yeah, that's what, let's, uh, probably they would say that they would ask her not to talk about the case, hmm. the, you know, the intricate details of the case, hmm. but definitely she can speak about uh, the experiences she had encountered during her present term. That will be enlightening, Sanjay. All right, Kushbu, back to you now. Uh, did you manage to speak to Kanimuri? We know she spoke to her father soon after that uh, bail order came out. Did you manage to speak to her today after the verdict came out? No, unfortunately, haven't been able to speak to her or not to Sharad. But uh, 
expect to speak to them at probably a little later. Okay, Kushbu, you heard Nyani here who said, uh, of course, uh, making a, an important point there, but also the fact that dynastic politics, if you're related to the party boss, you have a head start. Don't you agree? I do not agree. I would like to remind Nyani, sir, I've known him very well. I have very high regards for Nyani, sir. But I'd like to remind him that there are other female MPs too in our party, not only now, even prior to this. But no, nobody has faced this advantage because nobody has the tag of Kalani, uh, nobody has the tag of saying that it's Kanimuri Karunanidhi because she has the tag along with her, her father's name to her. It works in disadvantage for her. You have so many uh, female DMK MPs in, in, our, in Delhi. You cannot deny on that. How many of them are known? Okay, let's go across to T. Ramakrishnan, uh, Senior Assistant Editor of the Hindu. Ramakrishnan, thank you for waiting patiently. I want to ask you, do you see Kanimuri getting sympathy at the end of the day? One must remember this is not an acquittal, this is only bail. One must remember that it's bail in, in an imprisonment and it was in a corruption case, not for instance during the emergency under MISA. Yes, you are right. Uh, so I tend to watch things. That is, uh, it is too early to comment uh, whether she will become, a, you know, she will emerge as uh, as a, as a, as a the leading uh, light of the DMK. It's too early, Nani. I mean, how do you think now? Karunadhi is hinted too early, too early, too at too the early. possibility of elevation. How do you think the other power centers will respond? Well, I am sure that uh, Kanimari's immediate family, her mother. Definitely would like Kanimari to become a leading light now. Mm. Uh, that has been uh, her desire and ambition for a long time. That was how she was pushed into politics also. Mm. And with, you know that all DMK's faction politics is only within the family. DMK is the only political party where all factions are only from the same family, not outside the family at all. Uh, so all factions are within the family. So there will be a faction fight in DMK and definitely Kanimari will have to face that. And uh, let us also remember she can't be made a martyr now. As you pointed out rightly, she did not go to jail because of a or emergency or on a people's issue. It is a case of allegation of corruption. And one can't make a martyr out of somebody coming out on bail on an issue of corruption. The case but has the, to be heard. But there is a presumption of, uh, yeah. of innocence until guilt is proved. No, that is always there for everybody and anybody. Hmm. But question is... But again, when it comes to, in, the, in this case, even fact, the judges also had many... In fact, Ram Jatmarani said the judges are playing to the gallery. So earlier also we had a discussion saying, is, is Kanimuri a victim of perception? <laughs> Yeah, that's what Sanjay, I would like to interfere at this stage. See, if bail has been granted, you know, within a month or, you know, a two months, definitely, you know, what Mr. Nyani says would be right. You know, she would not have been, been a martyr because she would have been, you know, said, but after six months being in prison, you know, for apparently uh, what you, uh, during the last discussion, we said like it's media perception. Even now we feel that, you know, she was inside only because of media perception for the past six months. Definitely, you know, it will uh, tug the emotions of the people. No, Push no, you, yeah, yeah, Sanjay, oh. let us look at another case of Ramalinga Raju of Satyam Computers. Ramalinga Raju was in prison for 35 months before being given bail. And Ramalinga Raju's the allegation against him is that he misappropriated his own company funds, not public funds. Here, can you but that's it? public. That's public funds. But Ramalinga Raju is not a no. Ramalinga Raju is not no. But Ramalinga Raju is not a martyr. And she has not been no. brought to prison because he was but Ramalinga Raju. But Ramalinga Raju. No, but Ramalinga Raju is not a. No, but no, Ramalinga Raju no, no, is not a woman. He's not a woman. He doesn't have any exactly. uh, any relief under 437 of the CRPC. He doesn't have a small child. See, that's right. Kushbu, Kushbu, do you think Kanimori is a victim of perception? In a way, yes, she is a victim of perception because uh, I think uh, since the day Kanimori was arrested, people have been talking about it. Every day there was a news, any news, even if Kani was sneezing, that was a breaking news, I think, on the media. So I, I think uh, that's a problem. That's, uh, that's her problem. But I said earlier, being the daughter of the chief, that's, that's her minus and it all depended on the perceptions. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> Ramakrishna, if you can hear me, uh, <coughs> sorry, I've got a bad throat. But do you think Karunanadi's affection for his daughter is enough to stand her in good stead? That's right. That is, uh, I think, uh, in terms of uh, uh, moral and emotional support, is is fine. But uh, uh, if Kanimari uh, has to emerge as a political leader, then uh, she has to do much more. That is, politically speaking, that is, it's not uh, uh, the uh, so you know, so and so's. Uh, support alone will not uh, take you to greater heights. 
<laughs> so I, I think at least now she will, uh, uh, she will, uh, you know, emerge as she will play a bigger, a bigger role. Okay, uh, Sarvanan, legal worries of Kanimuri. This is going to be a thorn in her flesh till <clears throat> she manages to get an acquittal if she does. Almost a day-to-day -day trial. So can she come to Chennai or she'll have to just come over the weekends? Uh, that's yeah. what, uh, Sanjay, I think uh, what I have heard from the media, they have the uh, Delhi High Court <coughs> has imposed the same conditions as that of, you know, what the Supreme Court has, uh, uh, you know, put on the other accused persons who were granted bail by the Supreme Court. So as per those conditions, what they have stated is that they'll have to, you know, appear before the trial court and they'll have to surrender the passport. I don't think uh, staying at Delhi is one of the conditions. However, they have also stated that, you know, they can <coughs> apply for exemption. You know, under 317 of the Criminal Procedure Code, uh, any accused person can always be represented by a lawyer with the permission of the court, so that it is not mandatory that she has to be in Delhi all in the, the time. In the long run, how will it impact her? You have the Representation of People Act. Yeah, that's she right. She faces life imprisonment now. So, in the long run, how will it affect her political oh, that's career? That's what uh, she has also been charged with, uh, you know, a prevention of how corruption. How trial lasting? Uh, trial, that's what, uh, 150 witnesses are there and the trial is almost going on a day-to-day -day basis and there are 17 accused persons. A minimum of a year or two it will take, Sanjay. Minimum if, you know, it goes without any break. Pushpur, do you see Kanimuri, that the, there is an impending cabinet reshuffle. Do you, do you see Kanimuri standing an outside chance there of becoming a minister, something that she didn't become earlier, although many felt she deserved it earlier? Again, uh, Sanjay, let's not start working on the assumptions and our perspectives and our uh, perceptions as to what Kani will be after she comes back to Chennai. Uh, you're a learned lawyer, able lawyer yourself, you know the laws yourself, uh, the tip of your finger. So you should understand that it's a conditional bail. We have to see how it's going to work, how, how much of time she'll be able to spend in Chennai and how much of time she'll has, she has to be in Delhi. So we need to work on that. And I, I think uh, what position she's going to hold next in the party, whether it's a center or in the state itself, in the, within the party, that, that everything we have to leave it on the party chief and other senior members to decide before we start assuming as to how it's going to be. Fair enough. I mean, that's that's a you know valid point that Kushbu is making. Really, that the DMK is not going to jump the gun, and it's a democratic exercise. You go through a general council. Do you see Kanimuri at all getting a you know an important post at this stage? There are various posts being talked about, all in the realm of speculation. Like for instance, propaganda secretary. There will definitely be a clamor for post. In fact, uh, from Kanimuri's <coughs> end, there will be an effort to get some post because she has to evolve out of this situation and become more powerful so that she doesn't get into a problem like this again. So there will definitely be a clamor for a post and a struggle for power struggle within the party. That will happen. But let us also remember it is not Kanimuri being presented as a victim of perception. For that matter, DMK is a bigger victim of perception in the spectrum scandal itself. And many of the DMK cadres still You're feel perception. No. That's how you can describe it. If you can call, give ben, Kanimuri the benefit of doubt. You have to give the benefit of doubt large, at a large level to DMK itself. Many DMK cadres are unhappy that Raja and Kanimuri really were responsible for the debacle in the last assembly elections. Talking of Raja, why, why, do you think, do you see Raja now, Sarvanan, applying for bail? Uh, I don't know, Sanjay, whether he'll apply for bail or not. But, you know, applying the Supreme Court's order, I don't think there is any impediment for him to come out on bail. Because it is categorically stated, however, you know, whatever might so be the Do you see him coming out on bail? Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely. Probably he is waiting. Will he choose to? Uh, Will he choose to apply for bail? Yes, yes. Because you have the case of Vaiko, which was in a totally different case under yeah, Pota, that's right. who that's stuck right. to his gun that's and said, right. I will not apply for yeah, bail. Yeah, that's, that is what Raja has also stated now. He has said that he will, you know, wipe out the case or he will demolish the case. Then he will think of coming out of bail. That Rani? is his stand now. Uh, I think Raja has uh, perhaps his own misgivings about coming out. He prefers prison as a safer place than being outside. Let us remember that one of his associates died in a very mysterious circumstances. All so right, I don't think Raja would like to come out. All right, but you've also got the trial now. Of course, they've, uh, they're going to have the trial inside the TRK, but then again, they've got an appeal against that. Uh, that's what, now they have the high, Delhi High Court itself has stayed the decision to have the uh, trial in the Tihar jail. I think they are looking out places, uh, as per media, media reports, they're looking at places, you know, in uh, Patiala House Court and other places itself. Okay, let's go back to Kushbu. Kushbu, in fact, Rajati Amal Karimuri's mother has just arrived uh, in uh, Chennai, at the Chennai airport, she said that finally the truth uh, has triumphed. Now, are we actually being a little too judgmental at this stage? Because as I said earlier, what has happened now is only a bail really and not an acquittal. Do you really see as a woman yourself, as somebody who's been through, uh, in fact, you were persecuted, hounded for your comments on premarital sex, somebody who's been through, uh, you know, legal uh, hurdles. Do you see Kanimori as a woman getting sympathy at this stage at a time when she was locked away in the Tihar prison for six months? A 10-year-old Aditya, in fact, separated from his mother. 
let's not combine both the cases uh, because both are based on a totally different issues uh, but for Rajat Yama's uh, reactions I can understand as a mother how relieved she will be to have her daughter back home towards the weekend uh, but at the same time, I think the charges against Kani are quite serious, which we have to look into it. We have law, it has been taken care of. But I would just like to remind Nyani sir, where he made a statement um, on a channel, where saying that uh, probably she will be elevated to a better level, so that she doesn't get into a problem again like this. Uh, is he trying to say that being in a position, you can play with the law? I just want to know it from yeah, Nyani yeah, sir. That matter, even Raja was, Raja, Raja was a telecom minister, he got into trouble. Yeah, so the point is very simple. No, does it, that doesn't no, grant Kuzu, you any in, in, Kuzu immunity. Said, Kuzu said Kanimuri has been a very silent worker of the party. That's what CBA also says in its allegation. He, she calls her a co-conspirator, which is a silent work. Which is to be proved. To be a, to be a conspirator, which it has to be, be a silent work. It is an allegation, a charge that has been made. That's why the whole case is happening. It's so, an only history can let's judge and time can judge. Yes, yes, let's not point, point yeah. on them and say that they are guilty, they are innocent till proved guilty and I think when we are having a debate on a channel, it just gives out a wrong signal to say that people who are in an elevated position in any political party can play with law. I think uh, Mr. Nyani will definitely agree with me on this. We need to be a little more careful people whether have been playing with law like this. or I'm not in the party. I think even if it was somebody who was from the opposition party, I would have still said, I think we need to be a little more responsible and say that people who are in political lives can play with the law. I don't think we need to give out this wrong message. Fair enough. Point well taken, Kushbu. Uh, <clears throat> Saravanan, again, actually being in an elevated position, Work to the disadvantage because in the trial court, the judge exactly. made a distinction between exactly. upper class and lower class. Exactly, Sanjay. Now, now it has become the trend that you are in a very high elevated position, you will be in trouble. Because, you know, uh, the media perception is against you. See, if you are let out on bail, it is presumed that because of your elevated position, you are let out on bail. Nowadays, it is like working to the disadvantage. Certainly <coughs> not to their advantage. Okay, Ra Ramakrishnan, how do you see real, this really playing out? Do you see, do you rule out the possibility I, I of Kanimuri? You know because what? we know that but even when it came to a political baptism, she was a reluctant starter. She was not too keen on entering politics. She was content remaining Karunanandi's literary heir. Do you see the possibility of Kanimuri now perhaps going into a shell, playing her cards carefully, not really committing at this stage and wait, playing a wait and watch game till the trial uh, is concluded until she possibly gets an acquittal? It looks like, uh, uh, what you say, it looks like a strong uh, possibility uh, because uh, one thing is, this, uh, the, uh, I don't think uh, Congress would be receptive to the idea of taking her into the cabinet because they are going for assembly elections in UP and then corruption, uh, will that, all that will become a big issue. So and then uh, as uh, Mr. Sarvanan says, this, uh, if she is given a position in uh, DMK party, again that will also be viewed uh, that may be viewed uh, no, uh, rather uh, uh, adverse to the position of uh, Kanimuri. So maybe she would like to maintain a low profile, maybe doing her uh, coordination work in uh, networking work in Delhi, that is in, in terms of political work, that's what I mean. All right, since we're completely running out of time, Kushbu, a final comment uh, from you. How do you see the DMK Congress equation now, now that Kanimuri is out on bail? When was the problem between the DMK and uh, Congress Which alliance? To be honest, there has been, there has been friction. All, all again, the assumptions and pretensions of the media. Has the Congress, UPA government or DMK, anyone said that there are the cracks in the relationship? Nani, you want to? Well, this has nothing to do with Congress, DMK relationship at all. They are in a cash to situation. Because it's not the DMK. The reason I'm asking you is that the DMK has uh, in fact put uh, the, the UPA on the back foot with regard to the, the Coast Guard stand on the fishing zone, yes. with regard to uh, uh, FDI in, in the retail sector. But the point is ultimately DMK and Congress are in a cash to situation. They need each other. They cannot get rid of each other either. So they have to carry on with this. So as Kushbu says, they will never openly ever say that there is a problem. They will pretend that everything is you know, fine and hunky-dory. <laughs> Sarvanan, uh, the road ahead for Kanimuri legally. Yeah, legally that's what, uh, now the biggest… That will be uh, draining, right? The entire, the day-to-day -day trial will yeah, be draining. Yeah, day-to-day trial will be very tedious, uh, Sanjay. Uh, but uh, that's what, exemptions can be granted and there are, uh, you know, the lawyers who are looking at it. It's going to be a long, uh, long fight because uh, it's what, like 150 witnesses. So, it's going to be a long road ahead. All right. 
that's all the time we have for thank you very much nyani thank you saravan and thank you kushbu always a pleasure to have you on our show and i know there'll be a lot of other channels waiting at your door i can almost hear the, the, the you know the knock at the door there thank you very much kushbu for joining us and ramakrishnan i know on a busy day when you have to file that big story tomorrow appreciate your time ramakrishnan thank you very much stay tuned there's more coming up on ndtv hindu